so you just got a drum set. Yes! Chances are you want to be doing something like this as soon as possible, but the drum set probably looks something like this, which has left you wondering, what have I gotten myself into? Don't worry, I'm going to have you set up, holding the sticks properly, playing your first drum beat, and playing your first song by the end of this video. We'll do it in less than five minutes, all while avoiding the most common pitfalls new drummers get taken down by. And if you've been playing a little while, stick around. You might learn a tip or two. First problem, putting the drums together. Okay, each drum has a resonant head that goes on the bottom of the drum and a batter head that goes on the top of the drum. This is a drum key. We lose these all the time, but seriously, where do they all go? Use your drum key to tighten the tension rods that hold the drum heads on the drum. You wanna make each tension rod sound similar to the others. Finger tap around the edge as you adjust until you get a good tone. I typically go with the bottom head a little higher than the top head, but that's not a hard and fast rule. Let's just start there for now. Next, you need a drum rug or a carpet to build the drum set on. Time to sit down. I give you the drum throne. Feel free to take the posture of royalty as you sit down on your new throne. All right, adjust the throne height until the top of your legs are parallel or just above parallel to the ground. Oh, and when you sit down, butt back and back straight. That is unless you like back pain. Then it's an all skate and just do whatever you want to do. I broke my back. What do you mean by that? Your back, back is broken. I'll explain a right-handed setup. If you're left-handed, just reverse all of my directions for drum and cymbal place. With your feet comfortably on the floor, put the bass drum pedal directly under your right foot. This is where the bass drum will go. Avoid any weird angles with your foot when it is on the pedal. Angles like this or this. The bottom rim on the front of your bass drum should be a half an inch to one inch from the floor to keep the bass drum from moving while you play. That's also why we have a carpet or a rug underneath the bass drum. If it does move, mess with the adjustments on the bass drum legs and spurs here. Now for the snare drum. Put this in between your legs. That's what she said. <laughs> you saucy little minx. Avoid setting the snare drum height too high or too low. It should look similar to this. The hi-hat. So many moving parts. Don't freak out. I got you. Move the hi-hat pedal under your left foot. Don't forget, no weird angles. I also forgot to mention how this confusing thing goes together. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, adjust the hi-hat clutch. That's this thing so that there is one to one and a half inches between the top and bottom cymbals. Top cymbals should have some give in it. This knob on bottom adjusts the tilt of the bottom hi-hat. As long as the hi-hats are slightly offset with a tilt, you're good to go. If yours doesn't have this little knob under it, forget everything I just said about it and move on. Some hi-hat pedals allow you to adjust the tension of the pedal. You do that here. This is what my foot looks like when I'm opening and closing the hi-hat while playing it. Now we come to the toms. You have the one up, one down, the two up, one down, none up, one down, one up, two down. Tilt the tom slightly towards you. If you sit really high, some players like the toms flat like this. Time for some metal, our next problem. If you're playing cross-handed, the ride cymbal is typically on the opposite side from the hi-hat. Let's nest that crash in between the hi-hat and top tom. And if you're a more metal type person, like myself, maybe a second crash. It could go here or here or here. Make sure the felt is slightly loose to allow the cymbal to move. A good rule of thumb is to position your cymbals at a slight tilt to avoid damaging them when you hit them. But how do I hit them, you may ask? Good question. Crash your cymbals with a glancing blow. Avoid hitting them directly on the edges. Here's what my foot looks like on the bass drum pedal. But do I play heel up or heel down? Neither is wrong or right. Just two different techniques. Heel up is for power and speed. Heel down is for finesse and low volume. The important thing is to just pick one to start. We're just beginning here. You can work on the other later down the road. Time to grab the sticks, but please do so like a normal human being with opposable thumbs. Hold it like this. Avoid the caveman, the control freak, too tight, the tea time, the chicken wing. Just pick the stick up like you would any other normal thing. Here I am holding a water bottle. Here I am holding a hammer. Here I am holding a phone. We don't do weird movements and grab them all strange with these items, so don't do that with the sticks either. Before we ever hit a drum, let's talk ears. Ringing ears suck. Here's how to avoid that. Use ear protection. Here's some examples. Shooting muffs, earplugs, isolation headphones. But how do I hear my music and protect my hearing? Good question. The cheap method is to snag some shooting muffs and wear those over your earbuds or get a done for you option like this nifty fella. Finally, the part you've been waiting for. But seriously, we've covered a lot of ground in four minutes. Time to learn your first drum beat. For this drum beat, you just need to know two small patterns. We repeat those patterns twice, like this. That's it! You've just played your first drum beat. The hi-hat is playing eighth notes. We count those one and two and three and four and. The kick drum is on beat one and beat three. 
The snare drum is on beat two and beat four. This is also referred to as the back beat. Practice these patterns individually. Now try to string them together to make the full drum beat. If you can play that drum beat, you can now play actual music. I have a video on my channel showing you 100 songs that use this one drum beat. Congratulations and welcome to the drum family. If you'd like an organized lesson system to hold your hand while learning the drums, go check out my Drum Better daily program at stevensdrumshed.com. The link is in the video description. Or go on and get more free drum lessons here on YouTube from me by jumping over to this video to learn your first drum fill or this playlist of videos of mine for video breakdowns of easy beginner songs.